Our next guest is Terrell Hunt. He's a 2019 MBA graduate from the Mendoza College of Business who's currently serving as the vice consul at the United States Consulate in Shanghai, China. Terrell, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Hey there, Bob. Good to, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Let's start by mentioning that you were recently selected as one of the Domer Dozen. That's a big honor bestowed by the Young ND uh, Alumni Affinity Group. They note that you've shown extraordinary dedication to making a difference and you've made a significant impact in contributions for faith, service, learning, or work. Tell us a little bit about this honor. Sure. So to... Um, uh so to call this an honor is, is an understatement. So along with 11 under other uh, Notre Dame alumni under the age of 32, uh, the Notre Dame Young Alumni Affinity Group uh, selected us as, as honorees for outstanding accomplishments as, a young, as young alumni. Uh, they were able to make these determinations, you know, in a large part to, to the people who nominated us. So family members, Notre Dame classmates, professors, community members, people who have really seen us in action, um, who know our hearts and who love us. Um, so it's an incredible humbling, um, still to this day, very surprising and just an incredible honor. Um, you know, even more, I'm even more grateful knowing that, you know, I have made so many in my life proud and that I share this honor with 11 other um, incredible human beings. So deeply grateful to have even been considered. I would say so. You, you earned your undergraduate degree at a different university. We won't hold that against you. So what <laughs> made you choose the Notre Dame Mendoza College of Business for your MBA? Sure. So when it was time for me to 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 go back to to go back to school, um, and when I was looking for places to get my MBA, uh, I was I was looking for a place that wouldn't just give me uh, specific tools, but would, um, you know, holistically make me a better person. You know, I was looking for a place that would um, allow me to engage the world in really meaningful ways, um, a place that would help me connect to my faith um, in powerful ways. Um, you know, a place uh, that really valued our uh, rigor and competitiveness in, in the classroom. Um, and finally, you know, a business school that was focused on values and not just the bottom line, you know, of, of companies, you know, around the country and around the world. So realizing what I wanted, um, you know, as a professional, um, as a man, um, and the offerings that were out there, Notre Dame was, was truly the only place to go. And two years later, you're serving as the United States Vice Consul in Shanghai, China. So what is that like and what's the job of a vice consul? Sure, sure. Um, uh, so my current job, you know, as a diplomat can essentially be split up in four different ways. Uh, the first is uh, consular services. So, you know, as, as a commissioned consular uh, officer, you know, ensuring those from China uh, can legitimately, legally, and safely travel to the United States, you know, in the midst of an ongoing uh, pandemic. Uh, the second is uh, working with American citizen services. I can go on all night about how much joy it brings me, not just to be of service to others, but how especially proud it makes me uh, to be able to serve my fellow citizens, you know, in, in a foreign country. So to be able to help with things like um, stolen documentation, uh, cert certifications of certifications, um, rather, of births abroad and helping get citizens home in times of crises and emergency. Uh, that That's uh, certainly uh, one of the proudest uh, kind of highlights of, of my work. Um, public diplomacy is another big part of my job. So talking and engaging with Chinese civil society uh, from everything uh, from U.S. history to our consulate's programming uh, to my own story, you know, as, an, as a U.S. citizen, uh, really helping bridge the gap in what can sometimes be a contentious uh, diplomatic relationship. Um, and finally, policy analysis is incredibly important to my job. So uh, keeping decision makers and senior leadership in Washington uh, informed on trends, uh, meetings, happenings, and news that are happening here in China so that they themselves can navigate um, what I consider to be uh, the most important bilateral uh, diplomatic relation in the world, uh, relationship in the world right now. Terrell, how does your Notre Dame experience influence the way you work today? Hmm. Um, you know, so in my short time in Notre Dame, I think um, the the takeaway or lesson that I'm most grateful for is is leading with my values will always be the right thing to do, um, and that's a clear way that I personally kind of channel being a domer every single day. Um, you know, I think in this job and um, in any job really, it can be it can be easy to to go along to get along and kind of just execute policies and programs just to get ahead. Uh, but I make sure that when I show up, I show up all the way. And that includes my core values. And I let those values show, show up in, in meaningful, tangible ways. Uh, so when I look back on my time at Notre Dame and at Mendoza, um, you know, I'm kind, kind of understanding, you know, when I lead with my core values, you know, I'll never lose, I'll never be alone, and, and I'll never, ever fail. 
All right, Terrell, thanks very much. It has been an absolute pleasure to speak with you. Have a good night in Shanghai, China. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Tom.